Hello everyone, for this review we've got the 40th anniversary Mattel Voltron, classic Voltron. This is simply a re-release of the one that came out, uh, what's it been, like five years ago? It's been a while. This, this came out at the tail end of the Netflix Voltron toy line. Um, so if you have that, you've got this. Um, this is just being reintroduced or, or, or reissued so that, um, people who didn't get the initial run can get this. Um, I didn't purchase the original and I remember, remember at the time they were a bit difficult to find. Um, I, I remember seeing a couple of the, the smaller lions, like the arm lions, um, in stores, but I never saw like the complete set. And um, here we are, 2024, and it's reverse. You can find this guy right now, but you can't find the other uh, Voltron parts. Um, as of right now, this is a Target exclusive. The other lions are actively listed right now, but they're not available for sale. But more than likely you'll be able to order this from target yourself and uh i kind of like the idea of getting one or two at a time i can spend some time with the individual lions and you know enjoy that part because a lot of times you me personally i get a voltron i put him in robot mode he stays in robot mode forever um so it'll be fun um getting to mess with him just in uh lion mode for a while so um, you got some nice artwork. You got this 40th logo. This is what they're using for the 40th. Um, you get to see some nice uh, uh, replica artwork to make it look like it's from the original uh, cartoon. But this is this is new new clean line art. Uh, it shows you that it will form into uh, the robot mode, and there's a hole right here so that you can. <laughs> so you can listen to it. Oh, that's nice. Uh, there is a ton, 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 ton of phrases, 60 plus phrases. And as you start adding limbs on, you get different phrases and when he has all the limbs plugged in he has a different set of phrases so um you can go nuts with all the different phrases that are available um so on the side nothing too special you get to see the uh line uh robot mode again on the other side another um uh, some more line art cartoon art for the robot mode and then on the back you get to see the full line mode some of the phrases that he says um it explains to you hey you can connect the lions to make the robot and uh there's some cool stuff on here um up top voltron defender of the universe from days of long ago from uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend, the legend of Voltron, defender of the universe, a mighty robot loved by good, feared by evil. And then over here, this is a little bit more uh, figure specific. Keith is the leader of the Voltron Lion Force and pilot of the Black Lion. He is an expert pilot who develops the battle strategies of Voltron Force. So it's interesting they're referring to Lion Force, and I wonder, no, that's probably just wishful thinking, but it'd be cool if they did like the vehicle Voltron and the three robot Voltron. If anybody knows those different Voltrons were kind of mushed together, kind of like how Robotech mushed together. Um, different anime series. Um, there's no existing, pre-existing 
versions of those for from Mattel, but it would be it'd be kind of cool if they could come out with uh you know retail versions of of the vehicle Voltron. Um, I doubt they will, but um, there you have the back of the box. So let's get this guy out and we'll go over the line mode. Okay, so here he is out of the package, and he is a big, uh, chunky cat. Um, having messed with the Blitzway Voltron recently, um, looking at this guy, he, he kind of seems uh, a little bit bigger. Um, maybe he isn't, but uh, he, he, does, he, he d does have a presence. Um, you know, this is a 30-ish dollar figure, so, um, you know, definitely not like a masterpiece toy, but they've, they've packed a lot into this. I mean, he, he does have a presence. Um, it's not going to be any kind of chrome plating, so everything you see here is uh, colored plastic or paint. Um, some things won't be very sophisticated, like, you know, he can open his mouth, but, you know, you're immediately going to see the Voltron face sticking out there. You can just kind of close it up a little bit and kind of keep the, uh, you know, feel of the lion still. Um, the articulation is pretty nice. Nothing crazy, but... Um, no, oh, wow, <laughs> uh, I did that on accident. There's no, um, uh, articulation out for the legs, although the cup, <laughs> I'm going to accidentally keep hitting that button. Um, but due to the Voltron mode, the back legs do flex out, um, so you can get a little bit of posing and then. Good Lord. And then you get, you know, some po extra posing here. So some pretty. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so some uh, some good posing there. Um, so you've got this button here that makes the sounds. You've got this button. I think I pressed the chest and it made sounds. And uh, I think there's a yeah. Is an on off button on the top. So you can turn it off and uh, you don't have to deal with uh, the sounds if you want to turn the sounds off. Um, so uh, the tail's got some limited movement, it's ratcheted. Um, so overall, pretty, pretty decent. Um, get a little bit of a sneak peek at what the Voltron mode will look like. And uh, that's decent. Um, one thing I like about this is um, I I collect a lot of toy lines and you know I've got masterpiece stuff, but I also have mainline stuff, mostly because I often wonder if they're ever gonna finish um any particular year for like masterpiece transformers. But you know, one thing about the mainline stuff is it's it's easy to mess with and you don't have to worry about breaking stuff as much, you know, and, you know, if I want Optimus displayed with uh, Voltron, I can do that. And they, you know, kind of sort of go together. Maybe not this war for Cybertron, but, uh, you know, like this colorful guy, a very, you know, fun way to display these, um, mess around with them on your desk, you know, while you're at work or whatever. Even if you're into, you know, toy photography and stuff like that. Um, you can mess around with this guy. He's going to take a licking. This is like, you know, marketed for a wide range of 
people and ages. You don't have to worry about, you know, damaging it or breaking off some kind of fragile piece on it. So that's a, that's a plus for a toy line like this. So um, I like it. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, getting some of the other, well, getting the rest of the cat so I can put them in Voltron mode. So he's supposed to stand 16 inches. I don't know if that's at the top of the head or the top of the wings. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, once I get all the pieces together. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting the rest. Hopefully they will be available soon. And um, in case you didn't know, there is a gift pack coming out later in the year that will have wider availability. And I think it might actually cost a little bit less, like ten or twenty dollars less than buying all the figures separately. So if you're thinking about getting this and you can wait, there's a, a better price version coming out. So just something to think about. So that's our review. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, tune in for some more videos coming up.